it is my understanding that prior to the brawl, the lady was on a golf cart along with her husband, and they collided into a building um, with the golf cart, during which she may have also hit her head. And that it was that collision that eventually led to the brawl. And uh, during that brawl, she was also stoned with a cone shell, which also caused her head injuries. Um, she went to the polyclinic with the police, and uh, she refused medical treatment and self-discharged herself from the clinic and went home. The next day morning, she seemingly was having pain, and she went back to the clinic where she succumbed. At this time, we are not able to say um, what the cause of death is, if she died as a result of the shell or as a result of the accident. So I spoke to the director of the National Forensic Service this morning and had requested that the post-mortem examination be expedited. And so it will be done first thing tomorrow morning. Once that is done, then we should be able to ascertain a cause of death, and then we will be able to consult with the DPP for guidance in terms of what charge or charges to be levied on those persons who are involved in the brawl with her. The number of people who were detained, it is an employee who stoned that puncture? Um, I'm not sure if it's an employee, but one of the persons who were involved in the brawl. So multiple people? Uh, there were um, a few persons involved, yes, but I think one person okay. threw the gong shell. From what I was made to understand is that subsequent to, to her discharging herself from the hospital, she had uh, indicated to the police that she didn't want anything um, against those individuals. So they're in custody and they'll be charged at the very least for disorderly behavior.